my name is Katie and today I'm talking about what to bring to a tango marathon. I'm so excited because I'm going to my first marathon in a very long time and it got me to thinking about my first marathon and things that I wish that I had brought. Now, if you aren't familiar, a Tango Marathon is usually a weekend, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that has a bunch of malongas put together by an organizer. So there'll be a Friday night, malonga, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night. So it's a lot of dancing in a short amount of time, and people come from all over to enjoy one another and spend time doing what they love. I was incredibly nervous the first time that I went to a tango marathon and I thankfully had friends who had been to plenty before and so they gave me some good advice. Now in this video I'm going to focus on like items to bring, I might make another video that is more like clothing, what to wear to a marathon, there's tons of options but it might be helpful in the future. So I think the biggest thing to think about is your feet because you are going to be doing maybe 30 hours of dancing in three days. So much dancing. Too much dancing in three days and you want to be able to take care of your feet so that you can keep dancing and then maybe even use them um, on, on Monday. So the first thing that I would recommend is bringing several pairs of shoes if you have them. My first marathon, I only had one pair of shoes, so that was the only thing I wore, and I think my feet definitely paid a price because it was hard. I would recommend bringing a variety of heights if you have it, so maybe a low pair of shoes and a high pair of shoes. I'd also recommend like a danceable flat. Um, these are like DNI dance shoes um, that have like a nice, thick, comfy look to them. Um, really helpful on maybe the end of, <laughs> towards the end of a marathon or towards the end of the evening to transition into. That way you can just dance a little bit longer and not feel the pain. Second thing that I find really helpful in bringing to marathons is this tape. I usually tape it around my feet in any problem areas. It just gives me a little bit of extra cushion between my shoe and my foot and it keeps me dancing a little bit longer. When you're not actually dancing, there's a couple things that you're gonna want afterwards. And one of them I have found is like some kind of like ball, even like a tennis ball, to stretch out your feet or to like roll out your arches or any areas that are really getting tight. Um, even like your calves and your shins can get really tired. So having something to kind of massage them with does wonders. I always stay with friends who bring Epsom salt, soaking your feet in either hot or cold water, whatever you prefer, uh, can really kind of revitalize them. I remember the first time I tried this, like on a Sunday, I was like, my feet are new. I always try to bring an extra pair of fuzzy, thick socks that are really comfortable that I can wear either after the malanga or at home, just so that they give a little they get a little bit of extra care when I'm not dancing on them. This is something that a friend recommended to me. I haven't always found it effective, but she swears by it, so I wanna share that, is to use Arnica Drill. Arnica? She puts it on her feet at night um, when she's sleeping, and she says that she really feels the difference over time. After your feet, the next thing you wanna prioritize is your sleep. You're going to be messing up your sleep schedule, staying up late three nights in a row, and then trying to like make that up either by sleeping in or taking naps. And you're going to want to protect your sleep a little bit. So the two things that I recommend are like a sleep mask and some earplugs. Especially if you're going to be sharing a room, a space, an Airbnb, or crashing with a friend, it's gonna be really important to protect your sleep and be able to sleep through the rising of the sun. 
Speaking of sleep, you are going to be dead tired. So some things that I always find very helpful are makeup remover wipes because I can barely stumble into bed, let alone do like a full makeup removal. Plus you're gonna want to remove other people's sweat from your face. So always good to have wipes and also just like a nice transition piece if you're going to like say go to dinner after a Wonka. Speaking of transitions, people often go to dinner or to brunch before or after a malanga. So it's nice to have like a little transition piece that you can wear over your tango clothes and feel comfortable going into a restaurant. Just something that's gonna kind of help you to transition and maybe cover up all of the disaster that you've done to yourself dancing with so many people. <laughs> I've mentioned this before, but having a water bottle and putting your name on it is going to be so important. You're gonna be dancing for hours and you really need to rehydrate. I don't think I drink more water any other time of the year than when I am dancing at a marathon. It really makes a difference. So drink your water. I think I mentioned this in my other video about what to bring to a malanga, but it's always nice and feels safe to have things like band-aids, double-sided tape, safety pins, even a needle and thread for those emergency situations. Your clothes kind of go through a lot of wear and tear and sometimes it can be nice to save the moment with a quick fix. I always bring a couple backup outfits or pieces just in case. Something that I find super helpful when traveling to dance tango and packing for a marathon is to use packing cubes or some kind of container that I can organize my outfits in. So I'll put Friday night, Saturday afternoon, Saturday night all in different little bags and with any like undergarments that I might need. Even sometimes I'll stick my jewelry in there um, for that particular outfit. And that way I know exactly what I'm going to bring. It can also be helpful because when you have your used clothes, you can put it right back in the same container and kind of keep them separate from your fresher clothes if you're tight on space and where you're staying. Of course, when you pack in your clothes so tightly, they can really easily get wrinkled. So making sure that you have an iron in the place that you're staying is really helpful. Or I just discovered, but haven't yet purchased, uh, these mini steamers that you can put in your suitcase and then steam your clothes. I saw someone at the last marathon that I went to had one in their purse so they could just transition between the afternoon malanga and their evening malanga and kind of freshen up their evening outfit. I thought it was really cool. Um, so if that sounds like a problem that you've been having, maybe the mini steamer is for you. Let me know. For those of you who do travel for Tango, I'm curious what do you bring or what are those like must-have items that you bring to a Tango marathon? Even if you're not going to a full-on marathon, but maybe you're visiting a city where you want to do a lot of dancing, it can be helpful to have some of these items with you to take care of your feet and take care of yourself. Marathons are a huge subject and I could talk a lot about them, um, including like how I think about my attitude or, or keeping my confidence up when going to a marathon. So I'd love to do more videos on that. But hopefully this video has been helpful to you as you pack for your next marathon. May you feel prepared for your next marathon and take care.